Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is me Harsh, this is my second COD. In previous video of COD, Cadendon Beauty, I told you uh, why COD, what is COD and what is the reason to do this Cadendon Duty, Duty. So, Today, I have nothing new to tell you, but I can just answer some questions which have been asked from my friend and let's see how this will work. So our first question is, tell us about the way to get to this university and if it was difficult. Of course, it was not so easy. It was difficult. I don't know, especially in my case, it was difficult. Uh, as you know, having a typical parents who have a thought to send their child in a J or NEET and of course I was one of them and unfortunately I gave uh, attempts, two attempts and I didn't pass. There was a moment that night came when I had to say to my dad like of course decision maker my dad and I had to go to him at that night and have to speak what actually exactly I had to do and I still remember it was 20 days before my second attempt of JE and I said to my dad that the thing is I'll not be happy Abba nahi manenge that was the scene that I'll not be happy doing this everything going in JE type of field my interest is towards March and Navy and I really want to join that of course he was not having such knowledge about this field I think he barely understand what I was speaking about all this March and Navy there was one YouTube channel called JMDI Academy which I used to show my dad like see how these things are working and that was the night when he got convinced and he was like okay I guess you are interested then go for it. I guess I was also very stick towards this much in Navy field and I said to him so this is to be clear you can beat me you can scold me but I want to go for much in Navy. My biggest support at that time was my sister, my mother and my friend of course who is from Poland and they literally supported me a lot. They handled me in every situation which I was going through. My faith was written in March and every college only so how this all thing started. That was a time when IMECT exam was on the head even though there were two more exams which was DNS exams. I applied for Great Eastern, I applied for Anglo and for Samudra so uh, things were like I clarified all the written tasks for all these colleges and I got selected for Great Eastern and for Samudra I went till interview of Samudra and Great Eastern but my PCM percentages was come in my board which was like I was on the edge which was 62 percent my PCM percentage and this was the reason why I didn't went for Great Eastern but I went for Samudraya and till interview I just went and I got I didn't select it for Samudra and it was in Kerala Cochin which was like the executive office office was there that moment was the first time when I left my home for all these things I never left my home before like that alone all was with me my phone, me and my friend and uh, there is the point from where my actually journey has been started. So that was the time where I travelled Kochi for Samutra, then Chennai for uh, Anglo exam. After Chennai I have to go to Bihar where my army CT exam was going to be happened. So this is the way and it was like everything was day by day, it's not like there was no cap. Uh, so after going to Bihar, my finally IMECT exam came. I got a good result, maybe some 4012 my ranking was in that IMECT exam. After that, I had an options in which colleges I have to go. So there were some government colleges of uh, IMEC, uh, this much Navy, 
and private colleges. Instead of trying some other colleges, I preferred the college from where my brother just completed his studies. This Manit Maharashtra Academy of Naval Education and Training. So I selected this college as my preference and I had to travel from Bihar to Pune for that and between that there was a lot of documentation works i had aspects and i had to go through that also and there was a time when i had to come from bihar to pune it was a two and a half days journey in a train and i don't know what the hell it was full full train even i didn't had a confirmed seat in a train from two and a half days i didn't eat anything barely i just drink water at the end i came here i got selected in this college and I feel whatever I went through, it was all worth it. After seeing the college, I guess my dad was happy too, satisfied too. And all the documentation happened and he was agreed to put me in this college. And right now I'm here with the uniform of Manic. So we should move towards second question. What are your hobbies? Mm. Yeah. So my hobbies are drawing, I really love to sketch, I have a Instagram channel Harsh Marvin, where I used to post my drawings, you can go and check it if you are interested. And another is cooking, in a free time my mom really loved to teach me how to cook and I really love to, like I really enjoy cooking and I guess it really helps you a lot when you don't have anything to eat, you can cook it by yourself. So. Yeah, you should have a good hand on it. So, my hobbies. And I can add one more thing, is traveling. I can't say traveling is a, as a hobby, but for sure, traveling you can say as a passion. My passion is to travel. I really wanna own one camper van. So, let's see how the future is gonna be. Yeah, so we should move, move towards third question. What country would you most like to visit? Hmm interesting question yeah I really love to visit the country of course from where I belong India I really want to travel whole India the true beauty which you can never find is India of course so I really don't want to travel some typical uh, tourist places in India for sure I want to travel all the ways all the urban and rural areas places of India and this is my dream to travel my whole India and my another dream is to go of course poland where my very beautiful friend lives so i really wanna visit there i wanna meet their family and i really wanna mention her two pets tina and caramel my dream is to meet them and another country which i really wanna visit is amsterdam so i'll tell you about those two countries later some in another video fourth question what places did you visit that impressed you the most? Yeah, as I told when I was going from Bangalore to Kerala. So for Samudra uh, interview. So there was a place called Fort Cochin. It's a beach. Damn, really beautiful. It was so satisfying, soothing. I finished my interview maybe at morning 11 o'clock. So there was a big difference, big, big gap. So I searched on Google map, I find a place for coaching, I had a heavy luggage and I left from the station to the beach. I met so many strange people, strangers and you can't say they were at all strangers towards me. They were, they really became a good friend towards me. So and that was a person who took me to that beach and everything he told about that place. So it was really good. Fort Cochin really a very beautiful place i hope if you got a time please visit, visit fort cochin so we should move towards fifth question where exactly are you from okay so yeah i'm from bihar bombay exactly and i don't think so i barely even lived there my places where i lived was delhi uttarakhand and from five years i'm from I, i'm in living in bangalore and after Bangalore, now I came to Pune, of course, where my college is. We should move towards our sixth question. This is from the friend from Poland, and let's see what is it. 
the first cultural difference you saw between yourself and your friend from Poland yeah very huge and like we became so close friend that I don't think I don't feel any difference right now everything looks very similar what is going on there what's going on here it became so equal now if cultural you can say foods yeah she really love to cook especially pizza you can see recently she uploaded a pizza video on my channel and I hope you will learn how to make pizza from Poland from the friend of mine and it's really interesting how things actually looks when you be here you feel people outside the country they are so different and we say in Polish language Kosmita like an alien we feel like people outside the country they are like aliens something very different but people are really same equal and I really love that I love the way they are treating others their family and their culture it's really good and she loves of course the culture which is of India she loves Indian food her dream is to try each and every food of India and my dream is to make her try make her eat everything which is from India so I guess we should end this Q&A here only now it's time for doing some homework of course we got a lot of homework and of course we have to stay four hours here so what else we gonna do let's go So as the same way these questions were, you can really ask me some questions in comment and I will make such videos to answer your questions, you know, if it's about college, if it's about my life and how everything is working. So you can ask me those things in comment and I hope you will get the answer, of course.